Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Liz Wade, and I'm Colin Lowther. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand, no matter where in the world they live. Once I knew only darkness and stillness. My life was without past or future, but a little word from the fingers of another person fell into my empty hand, and then my heart suddenly opened to the wonder of living. Helen Adams Keller wrote these hopeful words. Her childhood was dark and silent, yet she became an encouraging writer and teacher for many people. Today's spotlight is on the writer and educator Helen Keller. Helen Keller. Was born in 1880 in the United States. She was a healthy baby, but Helen became very sick when she was one and a half years old. No one knew what kind of sickness she had. Now, experts think. She may have had scarlet fever or meningitis. Her sickness was very serious. Her family believed that Helen was going to die. Helen did not die. She seemed to recover from her sickness. Her family was very happy. But all was not well. Helen's mother saw that Helen's behavior had changed. Helen did not react to noise. She did not react to movement either. When Helen's mother placed her hand in front of Helen's eyes, Helen did not move. She could not see. She could not hear. The sickness had left Helen blind and deaf. Life for Helen and her family was difficult. Helen became a troublesome child. She smashed things in the house. She was angry. She was intelligent, but she had no way to communicate. By the time she was six years old, Helen's family needed a new way to help her. They travelled to an institute for the blind. Doctors there said that Helen would never see. Or hear again, but the director of the institute told them not to lose hope. He said that Helen could learn; she only needed a teacher. This teacher was Anne Sullivan. Anne was a twenty-year-old student. At the Institute for the Blind, Anne had lost most of her eyesight at the age of five. At the Institute for the Blind, she had operations on her eyes. Then she could see better. Anne went to live with the Keller family as Helen's teacher. Later, Helen wrote, "Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. 
walking with a friend in the dark is better than walking alone in the light. Anne changed Helen's life. She showed Helen love and support. Helen began to trust Anne. Soon, Helen's behavior improved. Anne also began to teach Helen words. Anne used her finger 